The first, a powerful storm system dumped heavy rain right here all across the Tampa Bay area this morning. So far, little damage reported in our area, but that's not the case just south of us. In Lee County, take a look. Strong winds causing this heavy damage in parts of the area this morning. Deputies and emergency officials there are still working to assess the damage. Some pictures coming into our newsroom here. This is in Fort Myers. People are still without power there. The National Weather Service reports this was a possible tornado touchdown that has still yet to be confirmed. Let's get some more information about this. Checking in with Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Bobby, there were tornado watches here for several of our counties. Thankfully, those have expired. Yeah, the, the best chance for severe weather was down to our south this morning. That pictures, those pictures that you saw there, most likely occurred with what we think could be have been a tornado about 640 AM this morning that moved down south of us. Uh, we were tracking the rotation offshore. It was weakening as it got close to shore and there was no warning for it, uh, but it was certainly a strong cell. Now, finally, just about all of the rain is out of here. A couple showers exiting downtown Tampa. Brandon, a couple just left over. That's it. Plant City as well. They'll move up by four. Polk County, we still have some light rainfall to move through the area, but that is just about it. Now, isolated showers for the rest of the afternoon. I'll show you that coming up. Look at some of these wind gust numbers. 73 mile per hour wind gust. 74 is Cat 1 Hurricane, right? 73 mile per hour wind gust in Bradenton. Nothing. 77 in Punta Gorda. You can see the highest winds were down there. Most areas saw winds in the 40s to almost 50 miles per hour outside of the storms. Once the rain tapered off down to our south, not as much up for here. You can still see quite a few clouds that are coming back in. There's sun out there now. Clouds will filter back in. We'll see an isolated shower for the remainder of the afternoon. But look at that picture, guys. It's officially winter as of 1059 AM this morning. That's winter Florida stop. I do expect winds to stay breezy this afternoon. Here's our forecast. You can see temperatures will be falling through the afternoon into the 60s.